Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL source control video, where we'll show you one of the options specifically related to the shared development model, the object status option. When working with the shared model, the main goal is to keep all developers informed about the status of objects that are version controlled. This allows transparency inside the team as it provides information about object usage. Having real-time information about which object is edited, checked out, or locked is essential and can save a lot of time. Apex SQL Source Control provides additional markup in the Object Explorer pane for all version-controlled objects. As a starting point for this video, we have linked one of these databases using the shared model from two different machines and initially committed all objects from one machine. Both machines show no differences in the Action Center tab. Expanding the node of the linked databases in the Object Explorer pane, we can see the additional markup for each object that is being version controlled. When the object is marked like this, it means the current version of an object in a database is the same as the latest version of the same object in the repository. In addition, this means that nobody else has the object checked out or locked. Unlike this state, any other object icon shows that a developer wants to change an object. Checkout or lock are applied, or the object is already edited. Let's make some changes to see how the object status works. Let's edit an object from the first machine. We'll just add a column to the orders table. After the script is executed, the icon in the Object Explorer pane is changed, showing that the orders table is now edited. Let's switch to another machine to see if another developer will be informed about this change. The icon of the edited object, in this case the orders table, will be automatically changed as soon as a change is made on the first machine. This informs a developer on a second machine and eventually any other developer who has the same database linked that an object is being edited. Let's check out the purchase orders table. After the checkout operation is applied, the icon for the purchase orders table is changed instantly. The new icon means the purchase orders table is checked out. Switching to another machine where another developer has the same database linked using the shared model and navigating to the Object Explorer pane, specifically to the same table, we can see that the icon of the Purchase Orders table is changed. When one of the developers performs a checkout, the rest of the team will be informed about that checkout visually. Just by checking the object icon on the Object Explorer pane, the rest of the team can easily figure out which object is checked out. If the object is checked out, it can be edited after that. This will be presented with a different icon in the Object Explorer pane. Let's get back to the first machine where the Purchase Orders table is initially checked out. We'll execute the following script to add a column to the Purchase Orders table. After executing the script, the icon for the Purchasing Orders table has changed again, now showing that the object is not just checked out, but also changed or edited after checkout. Let's switch to another machine to check the object status for the purchasing orders table after it is edited. The icon is updated on the second machine right after the SQL script is executed on the first machine. In this way, the team is informed that the specific object was being checked out and edited after that. Let's lock another object from the second machine. For example, the invoices table. After the lock operation is performed, the icon for the invoices table changes. Let's switch to another machine to check how this affects another user. In the same way as for the checkout, when an object is locked on one machine, the rest of the team will see that in the Object Explorer, since the icon will be changed, showing that the specific object is locked. Now, let's edit a locked object. Since the user who locked an object is the only one who can edit, Let's get back to the second machine where the invoices table is initially locked. We'll execute the simple SQL script that will add a column to the invoices table. After executing the script, the icon of the locked object, in this case, the invoices table, has changed. Let's check the icon for the same object on another machine. The icon for the invoices table on the first machine still shows that the object is being locked after executing the script on the second machine. We have covered the operations where an object is edited, checked out, locked, 
checked out and edited after that, and locked and edited after that. For all the mentioned situations, there are appropriate icons in the Object Explorer pane on the machine where the particular operation is performed, as well as on all other machines where developers have the same database linked using the shared model. Besides the Object Explorer pane, which shows a visual presentation of an object status, the user can check the status of all objects through the Object Status form. To access the Object Status form, we'll right-click a database and, from the Context menu, select the Object Status option. The Object Status form shows all version control database objects followed by the current status of an object. In addition, the Object Status form provides the information about the exact developer who performed the operation. In this particular case, we can easily figure out who did what against the specific object. For example, the Purchase Orders table is checked out and edited by John. The Invoices table is locked and edited by Steve, and the Orders table is edited by John without being checked out or locked previously. In addition, the Purchase Order Lines table is checked out only by Steve, and the same user locked the Supplier Transactions table. The Object Status feature allows the tracking of the status of objects inside the team, provides the real-time information about the object status, either through the icons in the Object Explorer pane or through the Object Status form. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.